In 2019, I started to help my parents with some Swedish death cleaning and decluttering. Lots of Hawaiian shirts. Old work shirts, we'll get rid of these. This is the end of the shirt. That's a lot. That's a lot. These are well worn, I have to say. I was really surprised. Over the last few years, my parents have decluttered so much and transformed their home. So I thought it would be fun to combine all the videos to show the huge transformation that they have made over these few years. The pants he's getting rid of. Looks like he's decided to get rid of five pairs of pants and it looks like he's still keeping about eight, which is a really good amount. What does this mean for you? It means it's just not so overwhelming. Less laundry, maybe? Less, he does his own laundry, he's, <laughs> he's perfect. <laughs> I wish he learned how to iron. Maybe when he retires he can learn how to iron. <laughs> I, I don't even iron my clothes, nothing. I shake it, I hang it. There's room between the hangers. is the pile so far. A lot of this he had pulled out of drawers as well. That is a lot of clothes. At the end of this year, my dad is retiring and he's gonna be at home now and all of these clothes were from his career. We decided to donate most of these to a local homeless shelter and- Another place where you could donate clothes is sometimes colleges have programs for students that are gonna be graduating that don't have any work clothes. My mom's friend told us about a local program and um, some of her friends have donated clothes there after their husbands have quit working. This is a lot of stuff, but you'll see as the video progresses just how much they end up getting rid of. You hold it up, you drop it. Why can't I do it? <laughs> don't undo it. Just, oh, just grab it by the out? arms and then it falls down. Oh, just get the hook. To undo the button. No, don't undo the button. Oh, I get it. A lot of these clothes he has gathered over, what, 30 years? Yes. It's a lot that's yes. just accumulated over time, so yes. it's time to get rid of it. It's not like he just went shopping. He also found two pairs of shoes that he doesn't want anymore. This is one way that you can help people that need help decluttering is just have them go through their stuff and pick out or choose what they don't want and then sometimes it's overwhelming or people don't have the time to do everything so that's why we're helping him. And I really like what one of Shannon's um, followers said was that if you have to give it to someone who's helping you, the clothes, no wait, that's not it. What? It's if you have, if, if you're helping somebody <laughs> and they want to give it to you and you'd say, okay, I'll take it. That's a good thing because then they feel like, I know for me, I feel like it's going somewhere and I can part with it because somebody wants it. So yeah, if it's going to help somebody, yeah. for sure. Take, take it. it. Don't let them see you throw it away on the way out. <laughs> Just wear everything once in front of them. Take it. Donate it. <laughs> donate it. There you go. declutter hangers because I've been gathering them up and putting them in all my closets throughout the house so <laughs> I'm starting a new way of hoarding actually it's hangers it's hangers hanger hoarding yeah a really good way to haul your stuff to the donation location of your choice I know I've mentioned it before is trash bags I always thought everything had to have a box and then I'd be searching for boxes but I found that trash bags actually work the best they fit easier in the car and it's easier just to grab them and bring them in. That's what we're gonna do now. <laughs> take how long did it take dad ahead of time Not too long he did it too he did it like at night and then the the other stuff in the morning so maybe, maybe an hour okay so an hour for my dad to decide what he's gonna keep what he's gonna get rid of then maybe an hour of us yeah. loading it all up, taking and it out. Videoing, and videoing. And so. videoing, that takes longer. So yeah. two hours all together to get rid of 
five trash bags worth of stuff is pretty amazing. Well, he was feeling overwhelmed with all those shirts. He wore the same ones all the time because he probably couldn't decide or couldn't rip them out of there. They were so packed in. So yeah. I think now he'll wear um, a variety, Yeah, I'm hoping. If I don't see him wear some, I'm just going <laughs> to sneak them out one at a time. <laughs> And the nice thing is now when I look at their closet, I can see there's a lot more room in there oh, and yeah. it just makes it feel a lot fresher yeah. and just more space between each item. I think that yeah. just looks way oh, better. Makes you feel better. I yeah, think. it does. It makes me feel yeah, better. Yeah, definitely. Because yes. they share a closet. So yeah, it makes you feel yeah. better. What's next that we're going to declutter? <laughs> well, I don't know if there's anything. There's probably a lot. Oop. Oh my God. I pulled I out help. You. Let's see. Oh no, you're not helping me. <laughs> she doesn't want my input on what to keep. <laughs> this one, every time I wear it, I feel like the old lady I am. I can't stand okay. that. It's That's new. Going. New, but new but bad. Chico's good quality, so somebody will somebody will want this. These two I bought for you. You oh, gave them to my me. my goodness. Because you lost weight. I love them. They're brand new. They're a uh, lucky brand. So I'm going to find someone who wants these. So put them down, but we'll... You don't want them? <laughs> they don't fit. I don't want to ask her that. I had the boho time, you know, the ruffles and the boho gauze, and you said you don't like the gauze. Why are you blaming it on me? <laughs> Here. <laughs> okay, so that's a tip that I can say. Yeah. Is for future shopping, try to remember what you are decluttering so you don't go buy it again. Yeah. Because I know. Gauze and ruffles. Gauze and ruffles. And for me, it's any material that tends to cling. I don't like that. Clinging is not good. These three things I wore the heck out of. I love them, but these two are kind of worn out. But I'm going to keep the black one because black is great, you know. See through biker days, but no, I'm just kidding. I was never a biker here. <laughs> but I don't wear them. I haven't been wearing them. I have to say I'm very surprised that she's getting rid of so many items. You must have been thinking about this for a while. I'm thinking about shopping. <laughs> she's going to replace all this, I guess, but what fresh. she's not a minimalist. She's just declining. No. These two things are at least 15 years old. My, That's old. My bright days. And this is Chico's. Chico's never goes bad. Should I keep it? You said Summer. you never wear it. I don't. You I haven't, haven't worn, I haven't worn it in probably time. in... Three years, Long two, time. two or three years. Wow. I could go buy at least 10 more blouses right but now. But you're not going but to. But I'm not going to. Okay. Sorry. This is a big pile of clothes. I'm really surprised. I say I'm surprised only because whenever I talk to her about decluttering her stuff or saying I can come help, you always say no, stay out of my house. And it's yeah. kind of good because it's the end of the year. So Plus that I way... put these things on and then take them off. Put them on, take them off, never wear them. I think it's a good idea to declutter like you are right now at the end of the year so that way you yeah. can make room for if you do want to buy new stuff or just to clean out and start a new year kind of fresh. Yeah, get rid of all the old stuff. It makes you feel good. I just never, ever, ever wear it. I put it on mm. and take it off. Do you want it? No. Okay. <laughs> if you're helping somebody declutter, try not to take any of their things, even though they will offer you everything that they're getting rid of. Take it and throw in the I trash. have to say no. I've helped another friend declutter, and everything looks super cute. I had to say no to everything. <laughs> looks like I have a lot of pants. And then here, I'm going to part with a pair of white pants, a couple pairs of shorts, two pairs of brand new black Calvin Klein jeans. They're really nice. Are you selling these to my yeah, I'm selling them to your people? She's trying to sell all her stuff to you. Very nice, but she doesn't want them. But I don't want them. Because you know what? I ripped I ripped out the real lining of them. And so then I put these in. Now they don't fit because these are too big, but I don't have the real lining because I already got rid of it. So they're gone. <laughs> so those you're probably gonna have to throw out. I don't think anyone wants those. <laughs> she has 24 pairs of pants, so I think what we should do is flip the hangers around just to show you how often you wear them. Well, I wear them different times of the year. I know, but we'll just oh, okay. see how many. Because I'm her daughter, I know she doesn't wear all these pants. <laughs> I do. I don't always wear them. I mean, sometimes, very rarely, I go out and I have to dress up. So that's one trick you can do is just to switch your hangers facing the opposite way. And then when you wear the pair of pants or whatever it is, you can put it back in facing the right way so you can see how often you wear the pants and how often you don't wear them and then you can declutter them. She's found another item. What is this? Yes, it's a blouse that became too small somehow. A few years
years ago, my mom and dad went through all their stuff and actually I have a video I can link down below where they filled this whole bed right here with clothes, both of them though together. So it's hard to imagine all of these clothes and all of that yeah. going. That's a lot that you've decluttered in the last yeah. few well, years. A lot of this stuff is new too. Not real. Newer. No. Some. A few items, a, few but items a lot of it is yeah, old, old still. still. My mom just explained that she feels bad about getting rid of all these clothes because because they're pretty. They're pretty. And she also said that she feels like she probably spent thousands a lot of, of dollars money. on these clothes, but you're, you're never wearing, wearing them. them. No, I know. It's from yeah, I do. I made sure I had enough for every occasion. A cruise, the beach. <laughs> These are. She said they're not hers, they're but <laughs> she's Shannon, decluttering them. Shannon's bathing suit. I think Marie Kondo will be here later to fold my clothes for me. <laughs> the folding fairy will be around later yes. tonight. Up here, this is an interesting drawer. This is. These are the mystery bags. You can grab one, Shannon. Mystery bags. Ooh, looks like underwear or something. They're things I never wear anymore. Bags. Slips. I need to go through these bags of slips. What about all this? That's my long underwear for <laughs> walking. For going to what the snow. This, though? Those are long underwear. You wear them under your clothes. Oh. I don't ever wear dresses anymore, but once in a while, you could wear these, Shannon. <laughs> No. Again, never take what other people are decluttering to your house because you didn't need it to begin with. Love but if you never wear these slips, I would just declutter them. Oh, look how cute this is. It's got flowers on it. I know, but can that even fit? No. Okay, okay then look. I haven't worn these things this for This wouldn't even fit 30 years. years. This is very pretty, but if you don't wear it, why are you keeping it? I don't, I think I own two dresses now. This is another tip I have. If you pull something out, you have no idea what's even in it. <laughs> These are either, I think they're shoulder pads. You don't, here's one tip I have. If you pull out a bag of something, you have absolutely no idea what's in it. That means you haven't gone into that bag for a really, really long time. I wouldn't spend too much time analyzing what's in the bag. Just look at it and get rid of it. Four pink bandanas. There's no way, if you haven't used four pink bandanas in the last year, you're gonna start we using it. We didn't use them because we didn't know we had them, but now we know we have them. The How old is this thing? That's when I worked at Yamaha. That was in the oh my 70, gosh, 1978. Mom. She's been using, 80. keeping this since the 80s. You never know when you need a red sash. Look how much stuff we have so far. This All is of this is gonna be donated. <laughs> What we've done so far. Good. Feel great. Got a lot of room in there. You are getting rid of so much stuff. I'm I know. really surprised. We're going on now to the guest room where you keep just extra stuff that now I could bring in here. I yeah. Have, I have empty drawers I can condense. That's a good idea. Try to put everything all in one consolidate. Yeah. area. So this is the guest room and I've got a dresser in here that I'm using for overflow. Whenever you're in the mood to declutter, which my mom was in the mood this day, I say just keep going with that and go through as many places as you can and pull out all the things that you don't think you need anymore. We just made one giant pile. Usually I like to separate the piles as I'm going because I know what can be trashed, but she had this already set in her mind how she's going to do it. So now she's just going through and pulling out the items that she knows are either too worn out or she said underwear, things like that, that Trash. are not going to be donated. They're going to be trashed. And yeah. then she does have a huge pile for the donation box and everything's in really good condition. So yeah. now she has so much space in here before all the clothes were really tight together. You could not actually get any room between the clothes. And one thing we did is we just switched around all the hangers facing out so then that way as she wears something she can put it back facing the right way and that'll give a really good idea of what she's actually wearing. All of this is either being donated or recycled. How do you feel after decluttering? Good. 
Good, great. We didn't really have to con fight over it. Fight over it, contemplate it. <laughs> I would only ever fight with her because she's my mom. <laughs> I feel like you're more open now to getting yes. rid of stuff. Why is yeah. that? I guess maybe watching your stuff, I just want to clean my house out. <laughs> I have to say I'm really surprised because she's the person that for years probably 10 years she had this cat shirt that she would not <laughs> get rid of and it actually lived in this room where she never ever came and took clothes out of I kept telling you why don't you get rid of that cat shirt because I spent a lot of finally, money yeah <laughs> you got rid of the cat shirt I spent a lot of money on that cat shirt but it was white and I don't wear white That's not something but if you spend a lot of money you sometimes feel like you want to keep things yeah. and I know that feeling too it's yeah. really hard sometimes we just went through this closet and discussed what they want to keep and what they want to get rid of so we're now just gonna start pulling everything out and then reorganizing this closet. Mm -hmm. They decided to get rid of a lot of the art that they no longer hang on their walls. And that's one thing that I think a lot of us forget to declutter is artwork and paintings that we no longer want to hang. It's just so easy to stick it in a closet and think someday I'm going to use this when in actuality you may never hang that art again. And so my dad and mom just went through that art and said, this is it, we have enough, we aren't going to be using this, and so now we can declutter it. Now I'm just going through and pulling out all of the items that they don't want anymore. My mom came in and we were discussing how to organize the closet. Okay. Yeah, and then put these lightweight ones maybe on that side or something. change does not seem too drastic, but in a second you will see just how much we are getting rid of. My dad explained that a lot of these jackets are not fitting him anymore, and so that's one reason why he's getting rid of them. Plus he has quite a few, my mom's here. <laughs> Plus he, has quite a few, plus he has quite a few jackets uh, already, so he's decided to get rid of these ones that don't fit as well and he's not wearing as often. As we're taking everything off the hangers and folding it up, we're also sorting it into different piles where it's gonna go so some things will be donated and some things given away. My mom's pulling out the Levi's because she sells stuff on eBay, so she's going to see if she can sell any of those. Of 17 pairs of pants, three coats, and a giant robe. And most of those pants, he doesn't, they don't fit him anymore. That's the main reason I think yeah, why he's yeah. getting he rid lost, of them. He lost he weight. He lost weight, so those pants just don't fit. Towels in my linen closet. Okay, let's okay. do that. Everything here I want. I've got minimal sheets. She wants all that. Yeah, this is for the one big bed and for the other bed. And then these are, this is a. For the other bed. Other bed. It's pretty much, those are the only blankets I have. Oh, this, okay, so what I want to do is get rid of a set of towels. Okay. I have too many. The orange? And washcloths. No. Um, oh, never mind. She likes the orange. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so these <laughs> these two things are going to go. Okay. These are, this is the old curtains from that bedroom there. Oh, I we think I use, made those. You did. You made them by hand. You want them back? No. You can have one. Okay, this is a shower curtain. <laughs> Anyways, I have a lot of washcloths. So I'm going to keep just a few white ones not too many and the rest can go here are so many washcloths I have a whole set of this pattern and they've become just worn out and this is the thing I want to get rid of I'm gonna keep the orange and I'm gonna give away these or yeah, I'll just give them away there that whole stripe pile is gonna go so I'll have two sets of guest towels and then two of my favorite towels. And then I have, I don't need so many mats. And then we have beach towels. How many beach towels do we need? How many beach towels does one woman need? <laughs> I don't know how many beach towels we need, but we never go to the There's beach. There's two people living here. And <laughs> oh, I've got way more than that. <laughs> one, two, three, four, Five. Oh, six. It seems like way more because they're so thick. 
I know when you guys come over and the kids swim in the community pool, we need some, but you also have your own, so. So how many should I keep? Your dad has his favorite beach towel that he probably got 20 years ago in Maui. So, so keep that one if we it's have, your favorite. It's, it's his favorite, so we'll keep that one. She asked how many towels should two people have, and they do have a pool, and people, guests come over and use your towels once in a mm -hmm. while. Rare. So I would say at least four. Four? Because okay, so one we'll... for you, one for dad, in case you both swim at the same time, and then two extra. So we're and gonna... then if we ever come over, we'll just remember to bring our own towels. All of these towels are gonna be donated to the animal shelter. And this is what her cabinet looks like now. It's nice and organized. She has four beach towels and two sets of regular towels and then some extra blankets down at the bottom. <laughs> I just started thinking about it. Okay, this is one of those things like, how many pillowcases do you need? I have way too Holy many. Holy smokes. I know. I, I use these. This goes with my new duvet cover. These are ruffles that I don't, I, I never use. And then I have a bunch of these really cute um, embroidered ones that maybe I'll give to somebody because I never use them. Or maybe these. sell them on eBay. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I've got basic whites and then some embroiders. Anyway, so what am I going to keep? I'm going to keep these gold ones because I use these. And every set of sheets has their own matching um, pillowcases, so I really don't need extra pillowcases. I don't know why I keep them. They all have sentimental value. <laughs> Drool. <laughs> DNA. Oh, wow. Cool, you did really good. Yay! I'm excited. Now look at all the room I have. Orange one that's gonna go. Here, let me get stuff. I'm watching. I'm watching you do it all. She's watching me. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is my third time of kind of decluttering, organizing. I have a dresser full of stuff, all my stuff, and then I have another dresser over here, and here and down there, and then it's grown to another room, and I have another dresser with stuff in it. So what I want to do, I was looking through my stuff, and last time I decluttered, I actually have a lot less in this, all these drawers, so now I have a little bit all over the place. So what I was thinking, I thought, oh, let's just get rid of this big thing. So I told my husband, I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to condense everything. He says, why would you get rid of it? All my clothes are under the bed. <laughs> He's going to get that dresser over there. I'm going to take all my stuff out. Okay, so everything's going to come out of this dresser. See, there's not a lot. These are tank tops. These are sweatshirts that I don't really wear, but I'm going to go through them. Christmas. Chris, you gotta have Christmas. These are my bathing suits. And now, get ready. This is the million dollar drawer. All of the expensive bras I used to wear. <laughs> I've been hanging on to them thinking, I'm gonna lose weight. I've got so much money invested in bras. You have all these wacko body suits that hold it, everything in. That I painful. Portfolios of art. <laughs> what happened was I found an extra drawer, so I put all my art in there. So that's going to come out. And the bottom drawer is video camera and look, VHS tapes. We don't even have a VHS player anymore. Okay, so in my younger years, with the younger family, and we used to go racing, and I was the videographer historian. So I had a little um, video camera that only goes with tapes, and so now it's not digital, so now I would have to convert it all to tapes. So I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm all digital now, so I'm going to have to get rid of this camera. And clean this drawer out. Stuff for the TV. We don't even have that TV anymore. <laughs> it's completely empty now. just described she has way too many bras that don't fit anymore and undergarments she's never gonna wear ever again so we're just gonna go through that real quick and Spanx she just said oh I'm wondering if I'm ever gonna use a slip again and I said my tip was just keep one of each item if you feel you might use it if you find you're not using it or wearing it then go through again and just declutter again 
get rid of it. Another idea is to just count how many you these? normally these use within a week or how often you do your laundry. So if you do your laundry every week, you know you only need that many undergarments for right. maybe a week, a week and a half if you go on vacation and then right. declutter everything else. Here. Look, that's Oh gosh, you. and again, I never take things from people when they offer them to me. Um, but <laughs> you I have a slip. I have I a slip. can't really get rid of that one. It's too short for me. <laughs> okay. You wear them or? I don't think I've worn them for a long time. That's another thing. If I find something in my own home that I don't even know where it came from or what it is, I normally get rid of it. So are you giving yourself a limit or what's your These thinking? I think are all going to go. Okay. So this is all one style. I think I should put I know on. this sounds crazy, but if they're brand new and no one's ever worn them, maybe ask, do you have any friends that would maybe I see them? people selling bras on eBay. Oh, really? Used bras. Well, you could they're... try, because these do look brand new and never been worn. She just looked through everything. She's decided she's getting rid of all of these extra bras that were kind of back up in case she lost weight or gained weight. So they're all going and all the under things yeah. are going because she's not going to use them. She's just going to keep two slips. Just two slips, black and a white. For the last two minutes, we've been discussing where things should go and how they should go. And what she just said to me is this bottom drawer right here is completely empty. And what we've decided to do is put the stuff that she doesn't use very often down in this bottom drawer so she doesn't have to get down into it very often. Um, we're going to do Christmas sweaters and off-season stuff. Yeah, it's now underwear. summer. And then also some of the long underwear and slips that she doesn't use very often. Pretty much what she showed me was there's about one or two items in each one of these drawers. So we're just going to try to consolidate, yes. I guess, and make it more organized. A See, I have a thing. When I put something in place, I moved into the house 30 years ago. I set something somewhere and it never moves for 30 years. <laughs> the same thing. It's like, why is that there? It's because I put it there. I think a lot of people do that. Yeah, you just never think you can move I, it. You put something in the okay, drawer. Here we go. Comment below if you've done that because I did that in our last condo. I moved in, put everything in the kitchen in certain places, and then it wasn't until I started decluttering, I started questioning, why is this in this drawer? Why yeah. is this here? And it turned out it all needed to be reorganized. So Why is, why is my camera and my art in my underwear drawer? <laughs> Who knows? It just got put there and it never after 30 years never moved so here we go now we're moving it yes <laughs> yay what I can do here is move all my sweaters up to one shelf and then sweaters and sweatshirts and I'll have an extra shelf I also have my t-shirt my walking shirts there and then over there then I could put my tank tops in this shelf there look at that this is what we're talking about there's only about three pairs of socks in there so we're gonna coordinate those with all the other ones yes pause she just threw all these random socks in here and said, I'm going to deal with the socks later. <laughs> That's full of socks. I know. There's winter socks, there's short socks, there's long socks. You know, you got to have a lot of socks. I just said, let's deal with the socks now. Instead of me coming back in, what, two more weeks and <laughs> then we deal with the socks? Because I think we talked about this last time, but I think we should just pull them all out. Let's just go through them real quick. Oh, It'll be fast. It's overwhelming. It'll be fast. There's so many socks. Okay. Let's do here it. I go. I'm watch already me, here. Watch me do it. I'm going to explain what happens. You start off, you're 30, you're 40, then you're 50 and 60. And when you get 60, and you don't wear nylon-y socks with high heels anymore. So, But you keep them just in case one day you might need them. Is this all your socks or you have a whole other batch somewhere else? <laughs> I have the socks I actually use in the other room. So none of these you use. <laughs> uh, in the winter, I use those. Okay, let's really limit this then. Like you said, one beige, one black of the nylon socks, because you already said that. And yeah. then let's pick out maybe two or three winter socks, really warm socks. Okay. And then that way, you're going to get rid of all the other ones, because you already mentioned to me that you don't even wear these. Yes. Oh, yeah. Do they're... you like these? Um... No, they're too low. Okay, now let's go here. through this again. One more time. <laughs> I thought we did. <laughs> you told me we have a whole other drawer full. What, okay, those? so let's just make sure you're going to want all these. Okay. From a whole bin to this. Yay. So how long did that take to go through that sock drawer? About 10 minutes. 
The question is, did you wear any of those scarves since the last time we decluttered? This one, I don't think I've ever worn, but I don't know where I got it. Unless I'm going to Alaska or something, I probably don't need it. It takes up a lot of space. Is this now or is this 20 years ago? It's definitely not now, but... Should I get rid of it? It's up to you. If you wear it, if you like it. I'll get rid of it and I'll wear it. <laughs> This is something I bought years ago and I ever, never, ever wear it. Okay, I'm finally decluttering. I am, serious declutter. Okay, these are nylons just in case. Just in case you have to wear nylons. You go to a party, they say, you have to wear nylons. That's going, these socks are going, these bras are going, and these suck em up things are going. Yeah, look, there's the rest of the bras. Perfect. So now they can move down to the undie drawer. Wow. That's all I need. Look, I went from 500 bras to you 10. You might be going to minimalist. This is empty. This is empty. This one we emptied. And this whole dresser is now empty. We just finished going through everything, decluttering everything, and then reorganizing it in a really good way that makes more sense. Yes. We were just talking right now about how important it is to always revisit different areas of your house every, what, six months, a year or something, oh, yeah. because there's always more that normally you can um, get rid of or realize yeah. that you're not using as much, or maybe it's yeah. worn out. And I think you're a really good example of that. <laughs> because <laughs> the, the seasonal change too. The season's changing, it's summer now. Yeah. Put the pants away, bring the shorts out. All the pants I don't wear anymore, all the socks I don't wear anymore. <laughs> Get rid of them because they're, again, they were a burden in my mind. I'd look at the drawer and I'd just close it and pick out the few I wore. So it's good. it feels good to get rid of them. And I know that if I have to, I can go buy more. We started by pulling down all of the Christmas bins so we knew what we were working with and what we needed to go through. to have twice as many. Should we come up with a goal? Maybe getting one rid of one whole bin? Yeah. That'd be a good goal. Yeah. I love a goal. One of my mom's goals that she mentioned to me earlier is that she has a lot of uh, keepsake ornaments that are in boxes that you want to get rid of the boxes. Yes. Make it easier to get to. Yes, because every year for the last 30, 35 years, I open the box up, unwrap the little Hallmark ornament, hang it on the tree, and then when I'm done, I have so many boxes to rewrap, put the ornaments back in. It's, so it makes me not want to use the ornaments. So yeah. my goal is to be able to use the ornaments easily, open up one little plastic bin, put them all on the tree and then take them down. Because everybody said there's so much value in the boxes. It's like, I'm over that. We also want to look through and see if there's any that she doesn't want that she's going to either give to people or sell, you said. This first bin was full of all of the Hallmark keepsake ornaments, so we decided to just start with that bin first since that was our main goal. This is what I think we should do. You tell me if you think this is a good idea or not. I think you should go through, before we even open any of them, pick the ones that you know you don't want to keep. Okay. Or vice versa, or keep, yeah. pick the ones you want to keep. Yeah. But if you know some right off the bat, you know you don't want, just pull them out, let's put them in a bag, and then we can look up how to sell them and stuff later. This I know I don't want, this Barbie and Ken, so I'm gonna put that over just here. Just flip them all over so we can just see what you have. Okay. And then you can just quickly visualize what you want to keep, what you don't. By pulling out all the really obvious ones that you know you don't want, just makes the whole process go so much faster and gets away all that visual clutter so it makes it easier to decide upon the ones that you do want to keep. Put the ones you're going in here, I think. That I'm getting rid of? Yeah, just for now, and we'll find okay. a bag or something. See, these are tough because I've had them forever. Let me just see what they look like. Let's Rocking see. horse. No, that could be sold. Mobo horse. No, that could be okay. sold. I like them. You like that on a Christmas tree? Those are pretty cool. This is gonna be a long process. <laughs> I just feel it. Oh. <laughs> Grandma I can't part with anything. <laughs> I can feel it in my soul here. Now, this is a maybe. I'm gonna keep it for so now. This is obviously a sentimental declutter I mean, here. Oh, it is. Yes. Definitely. Yes. I've been collecting this okay. stuff for 35, 40 yes. years. We're just gonna take our time here. Okay. So, this. That never flipped my switch. Okay. No. Okay, what about this? Is obviously important. Our first Christmas together or no? 
That's not you and me, that was no, me I know, I know, I know that. <laughs> yes, I'll keep that. Nineteen eighty seven first Christmas together. What does that mean? You and Dad? No, that was my old boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so that that can go. Okay. These are all of the ornaments she's going to keep. This side here. And then she still has to go through these. These are all the ornaments that will either be sold or donated. How are you feeling about this so far? I feel like I'm starting to get organized. Oh, you're putting them, oh good, thank you. Don't need that Barbie case. <laughs> and don't need that Barbie. These are mini, they're teeny tiny. Oh my for little gosh. tiny Christmas. You know how you have the little kid's Christmas tree? The little but you one? have a big Christmas tree. Why oh, no? This is how mini we're talking about. Then I'm gonna oh, wake up as an old lady and go, where'd all my things go? No, you're not. Grandma, wake up. Remember. Daddy. No, you'll say it. Thank God I got rid of that stuff when I could. Turn it's always hard to go through things you've had forever and consider getting rid of it. Hallmark was very clever in the 80s, making us realize that we had to collect things because they were gonna be worth a lot of money later in life. When you're old and you're ready to retire, you could probably go on vacation on one little tiny <laughs> ornament. But no, they aren't worth anything. And then it was a good marketing ploy. It was great, they did that with everything. Most of these ornaments are not worth much more than what she paid for them originally. So that's another reason why she wants to downsize them and sort through the ones that she no longer uses. And this saves so much space by getting rid of the big bulky boxes. And if you're going to be putting them on your tree, you really don't need to save the box because like she mentioned, it's just not a collectible and not really worth all this effort each year. <laughs> I just, okay, I just said, do you want to put these in the recycling bin, the boxes that are done? And she's, what, freaking out? <laughs> yeah, okay. Here I go. All right, here we go. Here goes the boxes. Bye boxes. She'll be digging that out later. <laughs> Hope I don't fall in. Now this is all we have left from all those boxes down to just this. How does it feel? Feels smaller. <laughs> Amazing. And the goal is to get rid of one of these boxes. So this might be the one that's leaving. I always suggest when decluttering to move the stuff you're either getting rid of or going to keep out of the way before you start going through the next pile. So. Let's put this maybe over there okay. and just so we don't accidentally declutter it. <laughs> yeah. Next is Christmas balls. You have so many. Okay, I have an idea here. Disco ball colors and then you have the gold and the red. So I think you should just pick one or the other. I think I'll keep the colorful one to get rid of the glitter ball. Okay. I think it's a really good idea to come up with a decorative theme when it comes to seasonal decor. That way you're not having to store multiple options for each season if you do decorate in your home. And it was pretty simple for my mom to choose the bright colored Christmas tree balls over the shiny and glittered gold balls. from two boxes all into one box so far. We still have two more boxes to go through. We've already accomplished our goal that we had, yes. so we're gonna carry on and see what else we can possibly downsize. This third bin of Christmas decor was full of a bunch of random things. We had tablecloths and towels, just everything under the sun. I can get rid of that towel. Okay, put that in a get rid of tip pile. This can go too. These are 70s 
sentimental item. We ended up keeping most of what was in this bin, but my mom did decide to get rid of a few items which gave us more room in here. Of course, we need these. We're going to declutter these two towels. They look super worn out. They're actually pulling apart, shredding. <laughs> She decided to get rid of the Christmas troll and we had had that since I was probably six or seven years old. Goodbye Angel, do you like the Angel? Now we're just putting everything back into the box that we decided to keep and we've put everything down below that we decided to get rid of. This doesn't do anything for me. Okay, goodbye Santa. It's not sparking some joy. No, that does not spark my joy. My joy is deep. We just finished going through everything and she's decided to donate all of these items and then we're going to either sell or donate the old vintage Hallmark yes. ornament. And how do you feel about all this? I feel good. It's something that I've been wanting to do. It made it easier with you coming in here. <laughs> and we accomplished our goal, which was to empty out at least one of those red bins and we have one completely empty yes. now. So you're gonna have extra room on your shelf to organize and have more space. Yes. My goal is to clean out the upper. We don't drink wine. We have we don't have parties anymore. We have a lot of wine glasses. My goal is to clean out another um, cabinet and be able to put my um, vases in there and maybe get rid of one teapot. I'm not sure, but just look at all the top stuff mainly. I'm just gonna pull everything down from that top shelf. Whatever we break, that's one last thing to declutter. <laughs> If you tend to get overwhelmed easily, I like to suggest going with one section at a time and bringing it down and going through everything. And this is what we did here. This is sentimental. It was from my grandmother's best friend. And it's also a Hull California pottery. I've held on to it forever, never used it. Put it up, take it down, put it up. Put it. So anyways, I don't know. I think this is one thing I get rid of. Okay. Because it's done nothing for me. These Christmas cups, I just I, I just went through there recently and got rid of a lot of Christmas cups. I kept these because I thought it would be fun to have you know, hot chocolate or something if the kids came over. One really good idea is for items that you're not gonna use all the time, once a year she's gonna use these during Christmas time, so storing them out of the way so all these shelves are functional and have functional items on them is a really good idea. Yeah. So you're okay with just getting rid of those yeah. then? Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is probably sell them. Okay. Sell them on eBay or something. So those I will get rid of. And um, that's one tip I have, I actually discussed this in my ebook, is don't worry about what you're gonna do with them during the decluttering process. She already knows she wants to sell them on eBay, but if you're unsure of what you wanna do with something, I like to just take it and put it into the pile that you're going to get rid of and then go through it later so you're not trying to decide during the middle of the decluttering process because it can really slow you down. And then these regular size generic wine glasses, they're gonna go because we don't use them. My mom told me she had gone through these drawers, but I asked her if we could revisit them one more time and see if there's anything else that can go. I'm watching you. <laughs> what are you gonna declutter? I wanna talk to you about these drawers. Oh, aren't they perfect? So look for duplicate items. I know that everybody says that or items that you don't use very often. So I found one thing right away and I asked her, I know, I just know her, they don't eat pie all that often. <laughs> and I personally, as a minimalist, don't feel that I need to have a special little spatula just for pie. But if you feel like you need it, and she has two, so. I'm gonna keep this one. But what about this one? I'll get rid of it. You don't have to if you don't want to, but. No, it's got serrated edges, but. Like you said, we don't really eat pie. I'm not sure, I'm asking, I, I'm not sure what this is. This just came with something new, and I don't remember what it came with, so get rid of it. Okay. Okay, it could go. Okay, what else do we have in here? I'm not pulling everything out for a reason because she's already gone through all this stuff. We're just looking for obvious things, things, in my okay. opinion. Right. This is a cool set. This is old. I'll probably keep it all because it's a set. Yeah, don't feel you have to keep stuff because it comes in a set and you don't use half of the set, but you feel you need to keep it in a set. So that's a tip if you really want to okay. make it more organized and get rid of extra things. 
This is a candy um, thermometer. When's the last time you made candy, though? I might make some. I had to buy this. And <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second here. So, okay, we got these two. Two more. So that, that makes four. Five. Six. Seven. Seven. This is sentimental. Do you need two of those, though? Um, I could give you one. <laughs> That's a gift. I remember the last declutter. We kept this one. We don't use it, so I will get rid of this. <laughs> And I will get rid of this because we don't, we don't eat a lot of garlic. We just found six items that you didn't think you were going to get rid of. No. I'm going to keep everything in here. Which is it? This one? This one? See, I keep my plastic bags. I have all my towels. The kids' oh, washcloths. There's more stuff down here, though. And the kids' the kids. Oh, um, my drinking God. Oh, wait, I see a third one. Third oh, one. Third good. one. I didn't know where it was. Thank you. And... What's this? This is a potato ricer. You go like this, you put your potato in there, and it, it makes nice, fine rice potatoes. When did you use that last? I don't know. Never. <laughs> Maybe. Do you want to keep that? Do you want it? No, thanks. Okay, I'll put it with the stuff to go. Oh, I was looking for that. Okay, I don't know how to use this thing, so I'm going to get rid of it. What about this? When's the last time you used this thing? Um, I haven't in a long time. I'll get rid of that because I have literally, I don't use make whipped cream. That was a whipped creamer. I just want to say really quick, you may be wondering why we didn't pull everything out to begin with, which I always suggest, but my mom said she did not need to get rid of anything. So that's why we are going one item at a time because she was very resistant to actually going through all of this stuff. We haven't used those, but those go with the Tupperware cups that are right here. This is why I always suggest to declutter and go through things because you just told me five different items that you didn't even know you had. True. Or how to use them. And one was actually in the plastic, never been opened. True. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why most people say to yeah. pull everything out and then go through it. Yeah. Because it makes it way easier. Yeah. I didn't do that because she, I do suggest that normally, but she didn't want to do that because she said there was very few things that she needed to get rid of, right? I'm shocked. Now I'm just quickly pulling the rest of the items out and she's telling me yes or no as we open each item and we're setting them aside. Most of the items she is keeping, but we just wanted to go through everything. Now I'm just putting everything back the way she had it. My parents are both extremely organized, but it is still great to go through your drawers every once in a while and see what you are no longer using because nine times out of 10, we can normally find something that my mom wants to let go of. I would suggest to have a box so you can put everything you know you want to get rid of or declutter into the box and then that way you can get the box out of the room so it's less overwhelming. That's a lot of stuff. That's it. Let's look for more. Oh boy. <laughs> now we're going to do this cupboard up here. This used to be our bar glasses and literally I've gotten rid of half of them already and this is what's left. Pull so this. wait, here's the question. Okay. Are you going to keep any wine glasses at all? We have to have a couple because that's what I'm saying. People might come over and they this might want wine. This is just such an odd wine glass. It looks like a water glass to it me. It probably is a water glass. We don't. I don't drink wine, so I don't know what's what. If we have more than four people, we're going plastic. We're going <laughs> disposable. Okay. In the end, my mom had me pull everything out so we could go through it easily and see what she wanted to keep. And she ended up keeping four of these simple wine glasses or maybe water glasses, we're not sure. And then she decided to declutter everything else when it came to the wine glasses. Since she has me over here and I'm up on a ladder, I'm just moving these that she doesn't use very often up to this top shelf so they can have more functional drinking apparatuses down here. We finished decluttering this cupboard. We opened up a ton of space up here and now she has a place for all her vases down here. We've just opened another cupboard. I feel like we're opening cans of worms here. We found more party stuff and since we were on a roll, we decided to start going through this cupboard as well. Now I'm just pulling everything out. My mom decided to focus on the party stuff and the drinking stuff because she's already gone through these cupboards before and she said she knows that she wants to keep all of the other things. So I was just helping her pull all of this out so she could decide what to keep and what to get rid of. 
Here's what the cupboard ended up looking like after we were done getting rid of everything we didn't need. Look at all this she's getting rid of. All of that, <laughs> everything in there, all of this stuff. Are you surprised at how much we were able to get rid of? Yes. Shocked? Very, I'm surprised and very happy. As her daughter who comes here all the time, <laughs> I'm shocked as well because <laughs> for one, you are not minimalist. No. And you don't want to be. No. And I'm surprised because we have gone through her house many times before. Yeah. And we've still found so many things this time. And that's one suggestion I always have is to revisit different areas over and over again because a lot of the time you find things that you thought you were going to use and you didn't end up using. Yeah. I think we found quite a few yes. of those things this time. Yeah. This used to be my china cabinet. It had a full top hutch on it, crammed with knickknacks and china and the bottom also. Two uh, sets of, actually three sets of china. There's only one now, so we're going to declutter what I have here. We decided to pull everything out of this cabinet for a few reasons. Number one, it was kind of hard to see exactly what was in there since everything was stacked on top of each other. And it was also a good idea to pull it out so we could see if there were duplicate items and she could really think about what she wanted to keep and what she wanted to donate because these were sentimental items. A lot of them were collected on trips she had been on or were given to her from family members that had passed away. So this was a little bit harder than a typical declutter where you're getting rid of things that you know don't mean anything to you. I know I don't need all the platters. I think I'm gonna stay with modern since I don't know what I'm gonna stay with. Most of these dishes are for parties and special occasions and she hasn't been using them a lot lately so that's why she thought it would be a good time to go through these. We're gonna go through and decide each item right now and it might be a slow process since it is sentimental item. I've inherited so much. Okay, this, I'm gonna get rid of this set and I'm looking at the platter that goes with it. I'm going to get rid of the stuff that's kind of the Asian motif because I'm just really not into that. So I've inherited quite a few pieces. Maybe you should put these in with your Christmas decorations. Yes. That way you know where they are and you can use them. What about these vases? I want to put those with the vases. We found okay. a spot for vases. I noticed as we were pulling things out that she did have a few duplicate items. So I said if there's a few that don't mean as much to you. Maybe you can choose one or the other. That's just one way to declutter. I think I'll keep these two and I'll get rid of these two. And I have a glass butter dish and I have this pretty little silver one that's really tarnished and I think I'll get rid of it because I don't want to polish silver. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. Okay, I'll set it aside. This was my grandmother's, your great grandmother's. And this is a cute little dish. Do you want this? Seriously, I'm not being sarcastic. No. No? No, thank okay. you. I'm gonna... And those two silver things, I don't think I'll use those. Silver. Wow, I'm shocked that you're getting rid of stuff so quickly. I am too. I'm on a roll, so I better stick with it. One. I feel like this seems more practical. Is that a spider? No, it's something. What it's is like that? a spider web in a cocoon or something. Oh my gosh. Which Ew. seems more practical, this? This does. Okay. I could put fruit in there. This I feel like my kids would come over and <laughs> break it. Now these two are handmade. Those look familiar. I think we made those. <laughs> They're both by Shannon. <laughs> it's up to you if you want to keep them. Do you want them? No. You don't want them? No. Platter. I don't need. It's too big and heavy. These are decorative plates. I'm really, I used to put them on display. I, I'm really not into that anymore. So I think I'll declutter them. Why does it seem so easy now? than it did before because before I would say, hey, let's go through this cabinet and she would always tell me, no way, not going to do it because but you seem like it's way easier now. Okay, this is it. I'm almost 65. Next month I'll be 65. I've got a bunch of stuff to go through. I know she doesn't want it. So I'm just, you know, not going to have a place for it someday. So, okay, it's got to go somewhere. Okay, we're going to get two of these. Those. those are very functional. Okay, I so like those. Those are new. This cut crystal glass water pitcher, it's very pretty, it's dirty right now, but it was never very practical, so I think I'm going to part with it. Okay, we got another decorative plate here. These two, these are... Oh, you know, you know, trolls are back now. You know when someone gives you something really special? It's very special, but I don't know, we've never hung it. Do you want it? No. <laughs> I think I'm going to sell it. So keeping all of this 
but decluttering all of that. Wow. All of this china she knows she wants and she's already gone through and got rid of how many? I had two other sets of china before. <laughs> she had two other sets of china and she decided to keep this one. Now we're just putting everything back away that she's keeping and we did this declutter at the end of December and I just find the end of the year and January are a great time to declutter because it really sets you up for an organized year without all of the extra stuff. Here is the before of the left side of the cupboard and here's the after. And here is the before of the right side of the cupboard and here is the after. And as you can see, there is way more space in here than there was before she did the decluttering. We decided to go through the three drawers since we were already on a roll. This can go, these can go, uh, that can go. So she did not want to open this drawer and we've already found how many <laughs> items? A few. Why were you able to get rid of so much of this this time? because I haven't used it and haven't looked at it and I kept what I really wanted to have. I had too much. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I'm so excited that you were able to do this because I know <laughs> it's really hard for you and it, is. it was really good. She got rid of so much. I'm really just surprised that yeah. you did this. Yay. I know I kept it for years and years. So now it's time to let go. Yeah, it's really good. And now she has so much room for all the things she does want to use. So it won't be such a burden yes. to get to and use it. Yes. We can use it more often now. We are simply starting this project by pulling everything off of these three shelves so we can go through it and see what we need and what we don't. No, that'll be trash. <laughs> Citronella oil, patio torch oil, fuel. So the question is, do we remove the shelf or just clean it? I think we should clean it for now. Probably should have vacuumed it first, so that's okay. Oh. It's, it's wet now, it's too late. <laughs> There's no turning back. Grind. Going through my parents' garage, we've pulled everything off this shelf and she's doing a full reorganization of her garage a little bit of decluttering but reorganizing and moving stuff around the whole point of it is so she can get both cars into her garage she used to but then they got a different car so now they want to get the two cars back in the garage and it's going to be a lot of reorganizing stuff i use stuff i haven't used in 20 years so yeah like they used to have these tiki torches in the backyard and now they don't, but they still have this citronella stuff. Pillow pads, a blast from the past. I think my husband used it, needed it for something, but we still ended up, I never used them. I would get metal slivers in my fingers, so those are gone. Do I a pile or yeah, we just, want it for sure? Let's just put them in, I, I'm not gonna clean my own car. What about this, do you use this? Yes. What the heck is this? That's trash. Oh my God, it's hard as a rock. This is how silicone becomes Oh, that was dark walnut. Oh god, there's a cockroach. Is that a cockroach? No. It's a June bug. This is like magic cleaning stuff. I think it's at least 20 years old. Biodegradable. It's supposed to be good, but I don't know. I've, it's just been sitting there. Do you want to try it? Take it home? No? No, I have enough cleaning stuff. Maybe we should just, at this point, because you've kind of separated it, just put the stuff you want to keep back on here. Okay. And okay. then that way, everything left. I'll hand them to you and you could put... Do you want like a cleaning shelf? Probably the middle one for now. We decided to put all of her backup supplies on one shelf so she can find them really easily. And as we were going through this, we were just going over each item to make sure she still wanted it and was going to use it. And this was a great way to organize and go through it twice. So all the car cleaning stuff, why don't we just give it away or throw it away, put it in the to-go box. Yeah, if you're not, you guys have had this for Ever. 20 years. Yeah, I got rid of more than You that, haven't but... used it yet. I don't think you're yeah. gonna use it. Vinegar, everybody needs white vinegar. Gotta yes. keep that. There. <laughs> okay, now I have a stick. <laughs> Where'd that thing go? Oh, here it is. Well, you need this for self-defense. It's so. down here in the, in the scary stuff where the spiders are. Okay. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I didn't use this one. It falls off. Okay. This is the one I like. Okay. Two into the house. One of the problems my mom just explained to me a second ago was that there was toilet paper over here, toilet paper over here, 
backup bags over there, backup bags over here. So we're trying to put it all in one section so she doesn't get confused and then go buy more. So she didn't know that these bags were over here and she went and bought even more. So now if they're all here, we'll know. Put them like this. Put it like that, yeah. This is everything that she's getting rid of. How do you feel now that this little area is organized? Way better. First we had a fight about it, but then we decided what we were gonna do, so. <laughs> we talked about it for at least 15 minutes. Shannon was gonna go home, and then finally she decided to stay. Because <laughs> I wouldn't get rid of anything. No, I need that. I know. I've had it for 20 years. Don't buy any more. Anyways, we came to terms. We, and we figured did it. it out. We did it. It wasn't a fight. It was a discussion. Yes. We laughed through it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, anyway, so I think this looks a hundred times better. Today, my mom and I are decluttering and reorganizing my parents' garage. This was a huge undertaking, and this is what it looked like before we started and we are rearranging everything and organizing it. And we're gonna be wearing sunglasses for a lot of it because we have the garage door open and it's so really, really bright. <laughs> Hi. We need to empty that whole area out, yeah. put it all in here, and then we need to empty those shelves, and then we need to move the shelves over there and then restack it. Okay. So that's our project there. Yeah, we're rearranging a lot of stuff but yeah, I definitely feel we should pull all that out first. Yes. The biggest part of this project was just taking everything out of this section and trying to decide if we were keeping it and where it was gonna go. And I'm really happy my mom was able to get rid of so many things. And this shelf in the corner here ended up going, but we were just clearing it off. It hadn't been looked at for a long time. Waiting for something to come running out at me. I know. What is this? They're shims. Here, I'll take them. There's what? Something. There's just something dead up in that whole thing. I'm gonna take pull it forward and I just want you to look behind and make sure there's nothing in the cut. I don't want to know it. At first I'm gonna say if these things are movable, oh, yeah. let's get them out. Are we tossing this as a trash? Yeah, I'm gonna give it away. Because you know, lizards. If something comes running, oh, I'll, be, I'll yeah. be knocking you down. So many webs. <laughs> Monsters under there. Careful. Once you get it down, just set it down. I just have to say that this is a spider haven they're all living here they love it here and i don't think they want to leave anytime soon so yeah i'm kind of freaked out i was just screaming a second ago because a huge black spider just went running so in this situation we are having to clean as we go because we're going to be moving these things one time and then putting a rack where they are right now okay. <laughs> those paintbrushes got her this area has not been cleaned or vacuumed in about 20 years, I would guess. And I had no idea what was going on here. I guess she was tripping on this cord, but just wanted to get this all tidied up while we had the room. That took a long time to shop back and it's because I'm working with the world's tiniest <laughs> shop back, but that looks so much better. And it's a garage. We're not trying to get it perfect. Okay, so originally these shelves were packed. I've been going through bins of you know, collectibles and family stuff. Anyway, so I've condensed a lot of them. I've got a lot of empty bins already and I put the ones I'm saving over here on this shelf because this shelf is pretty much set. We've kind of been going through it. I moved a piece of luggage. We have a bunch of luggage over there. I put some on top. Things I don't use, seasonal things, I put them all on top. Anyway, so that's why these um, shelves look somewhat empty already. Now we're just on a mission to get everything off these shelves because there will no longer be shelves going along this wall. A lot of these containers are empty and so we're just gonna make a pile of them in case she wants to reorganize stuff, we can. If not, um, she might get rid of these. As you're watching me take things off the shelf extremely fast, just know that this project actually took us several days. It started with the last video of reorganizing that tiny shelf, and then now we're here on this day, and then we continue for another day to get organized. So I just wanna encourage you when you're doing a project that sometimes it takes time. It's not all done in 10 minutes or one day. They're finally empty, so now we can start relocating them. We were so lucky that we had this little cart with wheels. It made the job actually doable. So I'm gonna wheel mine straight back like this. Ready? Put your toes. I'm gonna be trapped in there. You're gonna be stuck in there. Wait, wait, we're almost there. Okay, well you're, you're oh, like way in there. 
Now that the shelves are here, we're going to start putting everything back and organizing it in a way that makes sense. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. I want to get rid of it. Yeah. Just get it, it, has, it uses so much power. As we were putting things on the shelf, my mom was finding more and more items to declutter, things that weren't working properly and that she just didn't need anymore. So we're just putting everything that she wants to keep back on these two shelves. And I'm adding some tape and just writing what things are since a lot of items got moved around. We have just been organizing this and my dad's gonna come home and reorganize it how he wants but we're just trying to fit everything on there and it's going really well we still have a ton of extra space which i am shocked and over here i see white wall for the first time in years all of this white wall you could not see for years and years this one they're gonna get rid of this might go to our house to organize my husband's tools this shelf right here they're going to declutter maybe sell or just give away my mom just informed me this table is also going to go because it's super heavy. She decided that this fan is going to go because it's an electricity nightmare and they can get a smaller one that does way better. I'm back at my parents' house for the final step of organizing and hanging everything on her wall. But first, we're gonna go drop off all the hazardous material. She went around and contacted all her friends in the neighborhood and gathered all the hazardous material so we could take one trip there and drop it all off. And we're gonna go do that right now. Here we have all the hazardous stuff that no one wants anymore. We're gonna load that up. And then she went by Home Depot and got a few more hooks. We're going to completely reorganize this wall, hanging all the ladders and their chairs. We were lucky there was a hazardous waste drop off locally and we were able to do this for not only us, but all the neighbors. Once we were back, we jumped right into clearing off this wall so we could start hanging all of the hooks and things and getting it set up exactly how we want it. And we started by hanging some of my dad's racing photos because we knew we didn't want to hang anything on this one little area. The moment of truth, again. <laughs> they say measure twice, cut once. We don't believe in that. We say make I many, many holes. Eyeball it and just start hammering. <laughs> This was great for this area because we didn't want anything heavy on here since there was electrical behind here. Now we're gonna start on the hooks. Just so you know, all of these hooks we're adding took quite a long time. We had to measure it out and figure it out. So I just wanna let you know, sometimes it takes longer than it looks. We've hung two pieces of art and a ladder. How excited are you? Very excited, it's coming along. Hey, good job, Shannon. Oh my gosh. We're trying to put this big ladder over here, so we're gonna see how it's gonna work. I don't Sorry. like it. That's okay. I don't really care for this anymore. What is that for? It's a heater filter, but okay. I don't really care for this one. I totally broke it. And I really don't care for it. <laughs> We were on such a roll, we decided to dismantle this rack so we could get it out of my mom's garage and we're going to take it to my house. Okay, now we have ear protection. <laughs> Before we found these earplugs, it was so painfully loud. I was trying to plug my ears and nothing was helping. I couldn't stand the noise. So thankfully, my mom had some earmuffs and noise blocking earplugs so we were able to get this project finished. How do you feel so far? Excited, we're almost there, but now it's kind of overwhelming. Like we don't have the right screws and where are we gonna put everything? But we're so close to being done, yeah. I'm excited. We're really close, we're gonna power through it and get this done, hopefully we're today. Halfway. Yeah, today, we're gonna finish it up today. <laughs> today, yes. if it takes all day and all night, we're gonna do it. <laughs> yes. We finally started adding the hooks to the wall and we measured everything and started off with the hooks that we definitely needed and knew where they were going to go. The Hi. dilemma right now, we have how many of these? Eight folding chairs. Eight, and they're really heavy, super heavy. Yes. Really super heavy. So she's now going around to see where she can put these chairs. Do I need eight chairs anymore? We got rid of our dining room table. Yeah. We don't have parties. I don't know. Maybe I need to downsize my chairs. Maybe, but but how about this? Why don't you take two? You want four? No, but I'm saying like I don't. Why don't you get? Rid I don't want any. I would actually get rid of our chairs and not take your chairs yeah, because I just gonna, never use them. Yeah, but you know what? You're gonna start having parties in the backyard. We'll do another stud here. 
We found this organizational hook system where you can switch the hooks around and get different types of hooks. It's just a rail that they sit on and this was pretty easy to install. We did it. So now we're just hooking these hooks on. This took a little bit of time to figure out where everything was going to hang and fit properly. So we were just moving the hooks around and switching them out to see which one would work best. After all that discussion about the chairs, I think my mom ended up keeping all of them after all, which was kind of funny. We did it. It's taken two days. Well, a lot longer. Like but the last like three days, probably. Probably three days of solid work. Yeah. You did some stuff on your own at yeah. night and everything, but yeah. I can't believe this. I so know. we just ran to the store, we got this organizational system, yes. and everything is up and put away. Yeah, I'm so Yay. excited. And she's decluttering quite a lot, so she has the umbrellas going, some extra chairs, yep. and then you already got rid of a table a lot and of all stuff. sorts of stuff. A lot of stuff. Yeah, so. So this is wonderful. Thank Yay, you. I'm so, so happy. happy. I'm so happy. It's done. Mwah. We are going to do a 15 minute declutter challenge to see how much we can declutter out of her little utility closet here in 15 minutes. This closet has been decluttered at least two times already. And it's full again. Here is the before of this closet and we are gonna see how much we can go through. Do you already have an idea of what you wanna declutter out of there? So we, you can kind of pull out the bins that you know? or Yes, I do, because a lot of new stuff has gone into there, the kids' toys and stuff that we decluttered elsewhere. So it's kind of organized, but I do have certain things that I really wanna go through. So since we're trying to keep this within 15 minutes, maybe pull out the okay. areas that you know you wanna yes. go through. Do you want and me to pull them out and bring them into the room and you can help me go through Yeah, them? maybe Is that's that... easier because that's okay. such a tight closet. Let me go. Let's here. see how fast I can go. Let me set my timer. Hold on here. Start. Go! <laughs> I get sidetracked. This is one of those canes. <sighs> Hurry canes. It hurries. It doesn't so you don't over. need that, right? Well, I am married to an older man. No. or um, go through is tablecloths. Tablecloths. Cloths. Never have enough tablecloths. I'll start emptying it out as you, there's a, there's a one opening it up. There's one hanging. There's and you know what? I only have a little table that seats four. <laughs> I used to have a big table. Oh wow. I just, we downsized. Well, before I take this out, is this something you want to get rid of? This, is, this is what made me call you to do this, is this is an old antique tablecloth that I've decided I want to... Um, you don't want this. I'm going to sell it on eBay. So. Okay, so I'm going to start the pile. That's the go pile. I know I ask this all the time, but <laughs> this is a red tablecloth. I don't think you had one last year for Christmas. It's um, eight feet no, long. No, I do have a Christmas one. You do? You got me one. Okay. The one with the then, I'm gonna, on it. then I'm going to save... The I'll napkins? save this and the napkins, and then I think these napkins can go. Do okay. Do you want them? No. You don't? Okay. I don't need them. This tablecloth. I have. feel like this one you're not going to probably use. You think? Outside maybe. But remember, you have all of those other tablecloths, party tablecloths. I do. In the party box. The I have a couple of those. And stuff. Yeah. Okay. I don't need that one then. Okay. I think I'll save this. These, if I put a fold-out table too, I would need these too. Okay. I just have to say, looks very worn out. Okay, I don't, I don't think I've used that. But it's that. up to you. I don't think I've used that for a couple years. It looks Christmas. <clears throat> this one, you know what? This is pretty worn out too. That looks really worn out. Okay. Very faded. I think you gave this one to me when yes. you... Yes. Okay, I've never used it. That was our old table, because we had a round table and you have a round uh -huh. table. Okay. Going. All right, so these, I like them. I don't need probably four of them. You have four of those? Well... With the same pattern? No, one, two, three... Flowers. Well, pick which pattern you like the best. So you oh, have the more white one. This is springtime. This you is... have the more yellowy. Do I have an oval? This is rectangle. You have the yellow and then you have the white. Let me see. Is which this... one do you prefer? This is smaller. I prefer a rectangle. I mean an oval. But this is round, I think. These are both rectangle. This one's round for when the table's small. Round. Okay, I need to keep that for when the table's small. That's the only one I okay. have. All right. Okay. I know the color. The color. The color. <laughs> the color just rest. Kind of hits you. <laughs> the color. It's the only one that actually has the right shape, which is oval. But the color, I, I, I haven't used it for. I haven't seen you use it in for at least a couple years. Okay. Time. Here's a white one with. 
That looks very Christmassy. You don't even really use tablecloths either. Not very often. Okay. <laughs> wow. What's this? That's right. This is a big yellow square. Hello. <laughs> okay. My friend. <laughs> All right. Arms for the part. Okay. Hey, your cane and this combined? My cane. Yeah. I'll be a stylish. Granny. Okay. We've got some of those pillows up there. You use all those pillows? Okay, so the thing is, we got rid of the phones and the TV, and I mean the cable and all that. I saved some phones. I don't have phone. Do I need to keep the phones? No. Okay. Okay, so that's going. Baby blanket. blanket. Jinx. <laughs> we said it at the same time. <laughs> baby blanket. I know, I thought about getting rid of that, so get should rid of it. Should we have another baby? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Because <laughs> we have the blanket. Go ahead. So, should we get rid of this? Yeah. Six minutes and 41 seconds left. I have a lot cords. of extension cords. Let's go through them. Okay. Someone must have been having a sale on these things because somehow I ended up with three of them in there. You're keeping this, They're right? brand new, yes. Okay, put it in the keep pile. So, these are brand new. How many of these do you need, though? Probably one. They're a little different. They are? Well, Belkin. this is Ikea. I think Ikea is not as good as the Belkin. Okay, I'll keep the Belkin one and I'll get rid of these two. Okay. Where's the keeping? Is that the go pile over That's there? the go pile over here. Okay. So, okay. okay. extension cords and cords. Oh my goodness. So, so, how many do you need? I think I'm going to get rid of this blue one because I think this is the one that doesn't work half the time. You don't need this then. Cable, cable. Go. What's this? More cable, I think. What is that? Ultra. This is some kind of weird. Ultra length. You're not going to use this okay. for anything. I've never okay. used it. Watch. She'll be like, where's that special cord? I know. That <laughs> Every time. See, so here's another blue one. What about this? What is that? Another one of those mystery cords. No. I don't know what it's for. Three minutes left. All right, I have a lot of vacuum pieces. All right, okay, trash. try this on later on all your... Okay, I'll try it on them and then I'm gonna get... anything else in there? <clears throat> One minute and 40 seconds left. I guess I don't need two of these. I have a, a drip coffee maker in there for backup when, we don't, when our Keurig doesn't work, but I probably don't need two. Same? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Okay, I'll get rid of that one. He okay. jumped out. All right, I'll okay. keep this one. I don't well, know. do you want to keep one, or you don't need either of them? I don't think I need those. I've never used them. They've been in the closet okay. for five years or so. You're not going to put them on this? Nah. Okay. I don't really think I need those, so those okay. can go. Ten seconds left. Look for something good. One of these bags. Okay. <laughs> don't need that. What else? <laughs> what else? How about That's up here? Any of these blankets or pillows? That's it. Okay, time's That's up. That's it. Time's up. One pillow. Time's up. One more pillow. Boop. In 15 minutes, we were able to get rid of three pillows, all these cords she doesn't need, extra coffee pot thing, baby blanket, and all of these tablecloths, and that's got tablecloths in it too. My parents have had these chairs for 30 years and they were rarely sat in. They're still in perfect condition, but she decided it was time for them to go because they weren't being used. So going through this room, I've decided that I have that chair, the one that catches everything, and I tend to just throw things up here. And I really want to get rid of the chair. This way I can straighten out the dresser, make it even, just have less stuff here. I can vacuum through there, it's in the way. So this chair is going along with its twin downstairs. It's kind of funny she finally decided to get rid of this too because I just did a video talking about how the chair can be a catch-all for all sorts of things. Well, that's a roll it, okay, don't mind my booty. <laughs> I'll push it backwards it so you... fits, actually it fits out this door, does it or no? Does it? Oh shoot, are you going to rip the wall? Wait, stop, stop, Am stop, Am I going to rip stop. the wall or rip the chair? Both. Like this. <sighs> It's not spring loaded, so it won't open. But okay. so next, we're gonna roll it down the stairs. <laughs> we just push it down the stairs and let it go. Part of what we're doing today is Swedish death cleaning. My mom and I have both listened to this book and also read it. And the main concept is to downsize your stuff while you still can. Go through it yourself, so you don't have to leave it for loved ones. All right, this chair is going along with the other one. We found a good place for it to. Go live, so we're excited about that. Now I can vacuum in this room without having to move this chair out of the way. It wouldn't fit before it passed it, so I'm real excited about that. And it's just more simple looking, way cleaner and organized. Kind of looks good right here, though. I like it right here. <laughs> Where am I going to put my stuff? We started about two or three years ago. I wouldn't say it's a capsule wardrobe because I have more than that, but I have my summer stuff here, fall and winter. 
And then I've got it down to just a few pairs of pants. I do have some shorts in my drawer. And shoes, I got rid of tons of shoes. So nothing's up here. These are bags, like that's way more empty than it used to be. We got rid of a lot of purses. So everything's functional right here, simple. Never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Much happier and um, it's just way easier. I haven't refilled it. Yeah, you know, you could look back and see the pictures from before. Pull the largest out. Okay, let's see. That's a spooner. I don't know. I'll leave that one here. I found an antique store that sells, uh, or it's kind of an antique Hawaiian store, so I'm going to give these to the guy. Let him have them and sell them. Yay! Did it. Even though this has been decluttered, I hung on to some of my grandmother's brooches and things, thinking I would wear them. Now that I'm older, I still don't wear brooches. <laughs> Okay, so I have, and this is part of the These, Swedish death cleaning. Swedish death cleaning. Because it's been handed down to you, you don't want to hand it down. Because I say this would look really pretty on Shannon's dress. Would you like to have this one? Oh, take it, take it. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so, because I would never wear, I just don't go anywhere. I know. I know, I keep thinking there will be a time, you know, you wake up one day, you go, oh, I'm going to wear brooches now. I feel like my four-year-old would like this. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we, we have so many of these, so I just want to take them out and I guess just, I don't know, try to put them in a pile and sell them on eBay. Now that we've had everything out, we're sorting through it. We've filled this back with everything she's going to sell. This right here is all going to be donated to uh, the thrift store. I came here thinking we weren't even going to declutter that much. Yeah. And we ended up going through so much and getting rid of all that jewelry. That yes. It's been work. on my mind and yeah. I look at it and I just shut it back up and I look at it. And I feel like that can show you how much progress you can make in a short time. Yes. Just one afternoon. Yeah. And my mom and I are going to declutter some of her towels and things in her home. And we just want to show how just doing a few little things here and there can make such a difference oh yeah with decluttering so recently i actually got a few new towels and decided instead of adding my old ones to the junk pile because i already have enough junk used towels yeah. to clean things with right. that i'm going to donate them to a local animal shelter yes. yes and you were saying then i have the junk pile <laughs> the junk towels that i don't use anymore and now it's so overwhelming i've got so many i need yeah to donate them to the animal shelter. We have a friend who picks them up. But I've got more in the bathroom I want to show you. Okay. These, I was trying to see which ones I wanted, which ones I don't. I've got so many. I don't need that. I keep a couple of these. Don't need that. And these are mostly used for cleaning? Cleaning, yeah. If I want them for cleaning up a mess, then I just need lightweight ones. And you had all these backup ones. Too many, way too many. It's nice to have some these are, okay, I'll use these. We use them for different things besides cleaning. I don't know what, but <laughs> look at all these towels. You know, I put on the floor of the car. These are all cleaning things. I don't know where all these things come from. They just multiply. What in the world? What my mom keeps mentioning is that when they wash their own cars, they do need towels to dry and all that. But I'm thinking what we need to do is even pull out those ones you just kept in there or count them uh -huh. so we know how many. Keep in mind how many things you are keeping in that other area before you fill them Yeah, in. don't have them back up in two areas. Two areas, yeah, yeah. that's true. Sometimes that can help with when you want to declutter even more. There's so many that I don't ever get to the bottom. I'm going to get rid of these. So all these are going? I think so. I'm going to put them all in the same pile. These are... Keep so this is the to-go pile. I'll have what? I'll have clean rags. That's and a lot of towels. What I use these for is like if we go to the snow or go somewhere, I put them on the floor of my car. I just want to quickly mention that all of these towels were gathered over years and years of never decluttering towels, just putting them in this backup box. So these are all very old and have not been used in a while. The other thing is I got nice new kitchen towels. And so I have put my old kitchen towels out here to be used as rags and then they end up back in my kitchen again. <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of them so I don't accidentally put them out there. Nothing so, is worse than cleaning a toilet and then washing your face with the same rag accidentally. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take two. Okay. I'm going to take two of these back. 
these. Like if you go camping, we never camp. We got these. If you have guests, I. We them. have never camped my whole life with them. <laughs> in case but you, you go camping. Know. In case you go camping. Okay, let's just put the cleaning ones. <laughs> like in your own backyard, maybe. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. like that's this. good. It all fits in the bin now. Yeah. And what is goodness? This is like that's for. I didn't have any place else to keep it. That's for laundry. Whatever, camping. We always. <laughs> <laughs> She's camping again. <laughs> I'm always camping. <laughs> She camps inside the house, mostly. <laughs> well, and I have a sleeping bag up there for camping. <laughs> I'm keeping this because there's times when we go places, and we, you always say, do you have that thing where we put the thing in the thing? I never say that. Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Now we don't have all that stuff all over the place. All of this is going to the animal shelter. I'm going to organize it a bit for them. It only took a few minutes to go through all of these towels, get rid of what my mom no longer needed and didn't use, and it just makes such a difference to have this much going out of your home. I bought two new sets of sheets, this one just the other day, because I have a new, somewhat new mattress, it's probably a year or two old, but it's like the big, thick 18 inch one, and I have those smaller sheets that never go around the corner and then they pop up. And I'm gonna get rid of these two, and we're donating these as well to the animal shelter because yeah. they can use them. They can use all kinds of linens and sheets. And the whole reason that we're doing this and talking about this, we tend to keep the old even though we're not even using it. Yeah. Pretty much it's the one in one out policy that we're trying to yes. stick with because yes. it's so sure. easy to forget that and just add more and more. Yeah. And I mentioned in one of my videos recently, I bought some cups and it's, again, I have to remember, get rid of the messed up cups that you don't want anymore so you're not just adding. Yeah. Because it's so easy yeah. to add. Yeah, well, I was noticing that I had one on the bed, two stacks in here, and said, okay, and I bought another one. There's no, we're back to square one, so I have to remove them. And it's just nice to see things that aren't jammed in the cupboards. It's oh, yeah. just a good feeling. My parents have been so inspired to clean things out. My dad went through his office and got rid of all of these random things that he was holding on to, but not really using. We no longer use a house phone, just our cell phones. We can get rid of this whole system. And here's one of the old phones. But there were two pieces of furniture here with two printers that they weren't wireless. It was, so we ended up getting rid of the one laser printer that didn't work. But it's just nice to see wall space and not have everything so crammed together. I always say whenever we're decluttering her kitchen, what about the trays? And you always want to keep the trays. But you did mention the other day yeah. that you think some trays could go. Yeah. The funny thing is the trays I'm hanging on to are like the $1 trays I got at Party City. <laughs> I got rid of all my good trays. I'm keeping the cheap trays. All right. Okay, so here's... Oh, here they come. Here they come. Okay, these two trays are probably at least 10 or 15 years old and they were literally like 49 cents. And then this one's plastic and, and you I've can got... see it's falling apart, but <sighs> she another. used these for a lot of parties, but I think you have, and there's another one. The big one. The big one. But you have really nice ones that I think are better. Don't you think? I do, I have some um, glass ones and, and then I just have random trays. Oh, here's. Now this is a cheap party city tray, but it's plastic, but I really do use it. You do use that one? Yeah, I do, even though it's cheap. So I'm gonna yeah. hang on to that. If you use it, I always say, if you use it, keep it, obviously. Yeah. I do have a, a real silver one. I kept thinking about And this is something rid of that it. I always have a problem with, is using the nice stuff. So instead of using her silver tray, she uses the <laughs> plastic one. And it's just use that one. For I know. Now. I know. Just I use will. the nice stuff. And then I just have these ba two basic ones that I use all the time. We end up using the really junky stuff, clothing, everything more often, yeah. and saving the good stuff for some reason. I know. Saving it for Christmas dinner. Yeah. Or something. Don't wear your new clothes. I wore my new blouse today. <laughs> there you I go. I finally went shopping and bought a blouse, so I'm wearing it. And getting rid of the junk, so we only can use the good stuff. Yes. Yeah. Goodbye, Trays. You've been troopers. I'll miss you. No, not really. This is my coffee area. We have the Keurig 
And when we got the Keurig, they included this nice drawer that you can put your coffee in. My husband and I have two different flavors of coffee, so we open the drawer, close the drawer, and then I, the other day I thought, why is this thing here? I have the canister of sugar, and then I have two empty canisters that I used to put tea in, but now they're just empty. So I decided to get rid of this drawer, this big old ugly drawer that's been here forever. And now she's thinking like a minimalist. I know, it's so, and I thought, well, I could put, I could put one of them. Put one in there, and I could put the other one in here. I love it. And then sugar. Look at that. Look how much. See? Look how much better that looks. Literally, oh at least five years of that drawer going, wiping it off. Look how much mess. space you have by moving that. Yeah. Just, you have so much room now around that. It's just a better feeling. It looks so much better. My mom and I were discussing how before decluttering, you uh -huh. would have never no. thought of that. Mm -mm. But now you're into that yeah. groove, the decluttering groove. Yes. And here we go. Yeah. So I thought it would be interesting just to look through her cabinets because I'm nosy. And <laughs> I said, what else can we declutter? And she has decluttered so much. Yeah. It's amazing. You only have the stuff you really use. I use everything. It's, yes. I think she's becoming minimalist. What do you think? Yeah. A minimum, a full minimal. <laughs> full. Yeah, I'm yeah. not stark. I'm, I used to have good. a lot of stuff. Yeah. I know. You've done really good. I know. You couldn't even get one thing out because you had to pull it all out <laughs> to get one thing out. So now it's very usable. Yeah. It looks like a lot, but it's really not compared to what we used to have. We still have too many cups, <laughs> but they all mean something, you know. Okay, so there's more cups up there if we have a party. It goes with the dishes. But really, we had so much before, you couldn't even get anything out of there. We have a service for 12, but my husband slowly breaks them all, so eventually we'll be down to six, and that'll be perfect for the two of us. Oh, I've been thinking about some blouses that I want to remove because I don't wear them anymore. So I've gone through, and this one, I wore the heck out of it. And it's just, whenever I wear it, I feel like I'm wearing a rag. So I'm just going to get rid of it. I don't, this one, I like the color and all that, but it never fit right. It's really short. This one, I used to wear it. It's at least 10 years old. It's kind of see-through, and I don't like having to wear a tank top. Anyways, I've grown out of this style. It's not me anymore. I know it looks just like what I'm wearing now. but. <laughs> and then this one, I mean, it literally, it's brand new. I don't think I ever wore it, and I don't think I ever will wear it. It's one of those, you put it on, and you go, why did I buy this? And then you feel guilty and you want to wear it, but you don't wear it because it's white for one thing. You know that story. So I just pulled some shorts out of my drawer too. Okay, these shorts are really short and I'm too old for that. And these shorts are really big long. <laughs> you know, when you order something online and you get it and you go, what was I thinking? <laughs> Do you find it easier to declutter clothing now? It's getting easier and I just, I don't have any patience to keep things I don't really like anymore. <laughs> I figure why, why keep it? Shoes, look, I got six pairs of shoes. That's and those amazing. probably need to go because they're heels and I never wear heels. You're in that decluttering mode where it's so easy for you now and before it was really difficult yes, to let go. it was horrible. I was horrible. <laughs> I would not need that. No, I need that. I could not part with anything. Yeah. And now it's like, did I, have I used it in the last year or two? No, then don't keep it yeah. or keeping high heels that I know I'll never wear. In fact, I kept high heels <laughs> that were actually decomposing, but I thought I had to have them. I put them on and they go. Pfft. So yeah, there comes a time you have to part with things and it's just so much easier now. I can't believe it. Yeah. I really can't believe it because you were so attached to things I before. Know. I yes. feel like once that ball starts rolling, it's way easier. Yeah. It's a mindset. Yeah, yeah. it is. That the things I want to declutter that we keep saying we have to keep are some gown type things from your wedding. I, I know I'm not wearing it. I know you're not going to wear it. What is it? What is it? I will never wear this. I'm going to, I mean, it's, it's good stuff. I'll give it away. This is, what is this? We went on a cruise to Alaska once and I think I bought three new Alaska jackets that I never wore. What the heck is this? Is, Help me, the jacket's eating me. Um, Iceland? I don't think I could wear it. It's like so big. It's so, it's so puffy. <laughs> <laughs> now if I had granddaughters, it would be different. But I have three grandsons. 
the channel, the channel, the channel. Those need to go. Woo, but I don't know. Would I ever wear this? I said, are you sure there's nothing else? And she said, I have three robes. <laughs> well, one's very lightweight. For your lightweight activities in your robe. One's a warm snuggle one. Okay, what's the third one for? A spa robe. I bought it to go to Glen Ivy Spa. This one I don't need. I was thinking that because that used to be mine. This is yours. It used to be mine in high school, and she <laughs> said she wanted it, so I said, okay, fine. All right, we're cleaning out the backup closet. All right, that one can go. I was organizing it, looking for some watercolor paper, and I came across things I have ever, never used oil pastels. Oh, charcoal paper. I don't like working with charcoal, so don't keep things that you think you're going to someday <laughs> use because this is probably 10 years old. Before we started decluttering, this is the kind of stuff that you would hold on to and fight me about and yes. say, I'm gonna use that someday. I'm gonna use it. And now I think you're seeing yes. the benefits of yes. getting rid of the things you don't need. It relieves my mind, you know, I don't have to think about it. Now we're simply packing everything up and getting it ready for the secondhand store. And my cousin is going to be able to use the slips for her daughter to play dress up. And we're just getting all of this organized so we can get it straight into our car and not have it linger around the house. Before I came over here today, my mom mentioned to me that she wanted to refresh this room and move some of the furniture around. So we are going to work on that project now. The way we have the room now, the couch faces the backyard which is nice. I wanted to be able to look out there, but the sun is so bright. We're so gonna refresh the room. Then. Yes, we're gonna tear <laughs> it apart and put it back together. I grew up in this house and this room has been many different things. When we first moved in here, when I was very little, this room was a family room, set up similar to the way it is now, but we had way more stuff in this room. And then when I moved out, or maybe when I was in high school, my parents decided to move all of this type of furniture out of there and make this into a large dining room. And then they had it that way until I had my first son, Emmett, and that is when my mom decided she wanted to make this back into a cozy family room, which is pretty much the way it looks now. So it's kind of fun to change things around since it's been around eight years since we set it up this way, using all the same furniture and everything. By just switching a few things into different locations, it can make a room feel completely different and new without having to buy anything. This is where we are at with this room. We moved the couch over. We moved everything. We moved the... <laughs> TV over here, and then now we're just debating what to do with the art. I feel we accomplished quite a lot. Yes, we did. Decluttered a lot, and now this room has a completely new feel. Yay, I love it. It's gonna come over because all of this is gonna go. Here's a bag of knitting she's insisting on keeping. That's okay. Then we have the costumes she wants to keep, the sentimental stuff. We're gonna get a bigger bin for the doll and all that. And then this is all photos that we are going to get together another time and go through. So it's looking really good. I just want to say this used to be completely stuffed up to the very top with stuff. And look now, if you look through the other side, there's barely anything in there now. 20 minutes of looking through some stuff, making some decisions, and we've declared about half of what was in there. Yes. That's, so that's good. It's incredible. Yeah. It's stuff I just put away and didn't think about it anymore. I figure I'll just leave it for her to deal with later. But I'm glad we did because there's stuff that I do want to keep and stuff I really don't care about. So it's been a slow whittle down of all these things. Yeah. Pictures, dolls, things that were important that aren't so important anymore. And the reason why I think this is Swedish death cleaning is you're telling me what is important and what isn't important mm -hmm. to you. Yes. And what you want to keep and all that. So if something were to happen to you and dad, I would know. Yeah. She liked this. She didn't need this. This yeah. was just something she wanted to keep for herself. And the other and thing is that. just put a little piece of tape with a word on it, what it is. Yeah. And so even if you don't identify every item, at least you know what's in the box. I think we're making a lot of progress here at your house. Thank you. All right. See you next time. <laughs> Goodbye. I am just not good at wearing white. You can see right through it. Boing. <laughs> Sell it. No one's gonna buy it. You I'll know. see all my friends in town wearing my old clothes. <laughs> what did you just say to me? I'm gonna keep it all. <laughs> Welcome back to my parents' house. <laughs> okay, I'm laughing too hard. Okay, you take it like this. You drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. 
<laughs> Got it. This is the second time videoing in my parents' house. I'm just gonna say, right here on the wall is a painting of a naked lady. So it has made videoing so difficult. Naked lady. The thing I should be looking there. Look there. Look. Or else people will comment. You're not looking, You're not at, the looking at the camera. No, okay. my eyes go like. <laughs> <laughs> the man who invented the toilet is Mr. Crapper. That's why they call it crap. It's not a bad word. It's a man's name. Introducing you to the naked lady. Here she is. Here she is. I won't. I had her. to try to avoid her at all costs. Yeah, she's oh. a, she's annoying, but that's all right. And I have a couple de clowns. <laughs> de clowns. <laughs> clowns to declutter. <laughs> Death clowns no. in my drawers. <laughs> okay, start over. Oh. Calvin. Careful, Calvin. So heavy. Okay. Now what? Now we can go into my closet over there. What's it called? A linen closet. <laughs> <laughs> I have some towels to declutter. <laughs> you bye. 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 My face. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Super grandma. Strong like bull. Don't let me fall. <laughs> if we okay. have people come over that want to drink wine, I'll say, just bring a wine glass. <laughs> what so, is this? I don't know. I hid these chocolates from the kids. I went to Ireland a year and a half ago. I wonder if they're still good. They're leprechaun bars. Oh my god. You want to try one? No. Oh, okay. Is there a date on here? Oh, you're going to love that one. Oh wow. Um, let me back it up. We can back up. I oh, know, we're too close, I think. This was a fine bottle of limoncello I got in Italy in point point point. Something I can use. Yes, there we go. It's authentic. Oh, it's all clean. Now, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Arrivederci. <laughs> Calling Calvin. Is Calvin here? Yeah, hey, Oh no, don't put it on your oh, head. No. It's got very dirty spiders in it. It's exactly And look how deep. Look how tall he is. He's like six Grant five. Look at him. Look at him. Oh God. Do you have like a preference of any two? <laughs> da, 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 da. This okay. is how we get a lot done. Okay. Goodbye. We're walking away. Na 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 na. Baby dance, baby <laughs> dance, baby dance. Hey there, when we come back to my kitchen. I won't be cooking because I don't cook very often. As soon as I can walk, then I'm gonna walk on stairs. Someday I'll be living on a cruise ship full time. I only need two pieces of luggage. I'm shocked right now. Shocked. I'm shocked. Shocked. Declutter shocked. Declutter shocked. Shock. She's shock. just shock. pulling things out left and right. What a oh my gosh, this is overwhelming. You're going out, Chris. Uh, okay. Uh, what to do with you? These black nylon socks. What are they doing? Well, I go through a pair a day when I walk every day. 